Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Gina. I'm back again to give you some ideas on how you can celebrate the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima this Wednesday with the May crowning. So let's get started. Let's start with the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's continue with our second prayer. The Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys and girls, our May crowning is almost here because there are only two links left. That means there are only two days left until we crown Mary. One way you can celebrate during this month of May is by creating a Mary garden. Some people will do this in their backyard. They can do it in their front yard. They can do it in their homes. And I wanna show you how we did it here in our house. First, we cleared out a section of our backyard. Then we added edging in the shape that we wanted. Next, we prepared the ground for mulch. Then we added Mary in the center of the circle. Then we spread the mulch around. Now to find the perfect stones for rosary beads. These stones were the perfect size. We'll need 53 large stones to make the rosary. Add the large Our Father beads and you're done. Now time for the cross. We'll use bricks. Our very own outdoor rosary and merry garden. Now we can say our rosary outdoors. Now boys and girls, you may not have a, sta a large statue of Mary at home or a place to put a merry garden. So I wanna show you of another way that you can make a merry garden and actually put it in your home. To make your own mini merry garden, you'll need to gather your supplies. You'll need potting soil, a flower pot, decorative rocks or stones, plant labels, and a couple of your favorite plants. I chose sedum and marigold. Did you know that stands for Mary's gold? Lastly, you'll need a statue of Mary. I chose Our Lady of Guadalupe. First, Put some rocks at the bottom of your pot. Then add some potting mix to the top of the rocks. Make sure to add enough potting mix. Your plants need to sit on top. Remove your plants from their plastic pots. Pot your plants inside your flower pot. Then add your little statue of Mary inside your pot. You can add decorative rocks on top of the soil. Next, add a message for Mary. You're all finished, your very own Mary garden. Now you too can have a Mary garden in your home. Let's end with the prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your mother, our heavenly mother, Mary. We thank you for her intercession because we know she helps to bring our prayers to you. Amen. 
Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for coming, boys and girls, to learn about Mary Gardens and how you can plant one in your house. I will be back tomorrow to talk to you about another way to prepare for the May crowning. See you next time.